In this video, we will be focusing on the following four topics, movement, rear legs side view, rear legs rear view, and feet. Each one has a different purpose to help the cow produce quality milk and to grow a calf. Depending on the quality of each characteristic, the cow will increase or decrease in value and productivity. According to the PDCA scorecard, each characteristic you see mentioned has a different point value. Movement of a dairy cow is very important. The judges should be looking at the front feet and rear legs. The cow should have a long, fluid stride, watching to see if the rear foot is nearly replacing the front foot. The direction of the cow's movements should be clear and straight. Cow A has good form with long strides and length to her steps. She steps with her rear foot, replacing the front foot. She also has a clear direction and is a straight walker. Compared to cow B, who has poor form in her walking line, her steps are cut short and she swings her back feet out slightly with her movements. A cow's rear legs should have a natural angle to them, standing squarely on her hooves. Too much of an angle can be a problem with distribution of weight. Cow A on the left is what a judger should look for. This cow has a moderate set angle to the hawk. Cow B displays a characteristics cattle can have where it is not enough of an angle at the hawk. This is called post-legged, meaning their leg is straight as a post. Compared to cow C on the right, who has a major angularity, her hooves are far underneath her, which is putting stress on her hocks and the overall rear leg. When looking at dairy cow's rear legs from the rear view, a judger wants to see toes pointed straight, wide apart hocks, and their feet squarely placed. Cow B on the right has hocks in and toes point out. This is undesirable when judging cattle. Compared to cow A on the left, who has straightforward feet, wide set hocks, and stands squarely, cow A has the better set rear legs. When looking at the hoof of a cow, a judger should look at toe openness between the split of the hoof, roundness, and how steep the cow's pastern is. Cow B is showing an open split of the hoof, not very well rounded, and has a weak slope in the pastern. Compared to cow A, which has a steep, strong pastern slope, rounded hoof, and it is closed at the split of the hoof. Having a gentle slope compared to a steep slope in the pastern is important. Having a strong slope will maintain a cow's ability to move and to keep their leg healthy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock judging videos as well as the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.